Hi, this is GPS Training, part of Shepherd's Walks. In this video, we're going to take a look at the physical overview of the Montana 700 GPS unit. The unit I've got today is the I version. This is the version that has the built-in in-reach emergency two-way satellite communication. Basically, it's physically the same as the Montana 700 or the 750 camera unit, other than the I version has the SOS button on the side of the unit to summons help. The SOS button is actually protected by a little rubber cap to stop you accidentally pressing it. So you open up the little cap and the SOS button is on the inside there to press if needed. So that's the SOS button. As we move around the unit, we go on to the other side of the unit and at the bottom here we've got the little rubber cap that protects the USB charging port so you can charge the unit or connect the unit to a computer using a micro USB cable. So just always make sure that caps firmly in place when you're finished using it. While we're on the side here we've got these little copper pins here. This will allow you to attach a vehicle mount to the unit which will charge the unit at the same time. Going back to the back of the unit, at the top of the unit we've got a slot here where you can put a lanyard to carry the unit and on the back here where we've got this lens here on this version it's not the camera version it's not the 750i so that lens is actually just a torch or can be used for SOS torch signals on the 750i camera version that is actually the camera lens as well top of the unit we've got the antenna the GPS antenna and if we now go to the bottom of the back of the unit we've got another rubber cap here if I undo that lets you put an external GPS aerial to the unit if you were using it inside a vehicle such as a four-wheel drive vehicle you may be using the unit in with a vehicle mount you can put a patch aerial on the external aerial just to increase your signal because you're inside a vehicle so I'll just put that cap again back on and finally we're going to look at the battery casing so on the back here we've got the battery casing little metal tab here we just pull down turn it anti-clockwise and then just lift out and we have the rechargeable battery just going to put the battery down inside the unit here we've actually got the little slot for a micro SD card where you can put your map cards in the unit so on the micro SD card if I just slide that metal clip up and lift it up we've got our map card in here little um, memory card I'm just going to tip that out and there we go so little micro card just put that back in the unit just carefully slot it back in you'll see the way that it slots in and then put the lid back down and slide it back down downwards to lock it in place and that's the map card on the unit so I'm just going to put the battery back in so battery back in and then just make sure when you've got the battery back in you turn the little metal clip back clockwise and push it down and that's the battery locked in place. On the next videos we're going to show turning the unit on and looking through the menus. But on the side here we have the on off button that we just hold in for a few seconds to turn on. So that's just a physical overview on the new Garmin Montana 700 unit. This one being the 700i which has the SOS button on the side. Thanks for watching.